rhinos are among some of the most endangered animals in the world, with South Africa home to around 80% of the species' total population. The numbers have been decimated over the years due to poaching, but new statistics show a drop for the first time. One of the reasons I believe um, this has happened is because a new law was passed in Mozambique to elevate rhino poaching to that of a serious crime. Uh, up to 12 year jail sentences and or heavy fines are imposed now on rhino poachers coming into the Kruger National Park. With over 8,400 white rhinos in the Kruger National Park alone, the government has allocated most of its anti-poaching resources to combating the illegal harvesting of horns. And private game owners don't have much interest in keeping rhinos due to the exorbitant costs involved just keeping them alive. You know, on small game reserves, a rhino, a several ton rhino goes wherever it wants. And if you've got many of them, you can't have people with them all the time. So you need to put up to 70, 80 man teams in there. And I mean, just on our game reserve, a kilo private game reserve in the Western Cape, we've got about a 10,000 hectare conservancy. And we could probably buy a rhino at $30,000 every three months for the price of the security. The Skakuza court in the Kruger National Park sees cases mainly related to poaching. Its cells are filled with those convicted of the crime. For many, it's a high-stakes game with high rewards. Organized crime wants the last rhino to drop. There are stockpiles in place of rhino horn. It's not like diamonds. There will always be diamonds. But when the rhino is finally extinct, and hopefully that will never ever be a reality, um, the value of that horn will go up hugely, absolutely staggeringly high values. I mean, currently we are looking at between, estimated between anything from 80 to 110,000 US dollars per kilogram of rhino horn, average horn weighing in at about 3.8 kilos. That is worth more than platinum and gold combined plus some. The big question remains then, is this a blip or are poaching levels finally to recede for good in South Africa? Only time will tell the answer. Poaching levels may have dropped in South Africa, but the number of rhinos killed across the continent has hit record levels. With Zimbabwe and Namibia recording a spike in their numbers, it seems rhinos on the whole face the very same threats no matter where they are. Governor Andrew, CCTV, Cape Town.